and welcome back to some more Orange Rounded. Right, my daughter is asleep, me and the wife has been cleaning the house a bit, she does the dishes, and I've, uh, you know, unclogged the drains and washed the bathroom even more, yes. Now for today's video, I do want to continue to play some more ground floors. Possibly, if I get the time. I mean, we've been cleaning for quite a while. Ooh, that looks rather nice. Uh, but yeah, my daughter might awaken at any moment. But one thing that I do want to get a little bit into, I think I'm going to do a lot of complaining in this video. Now, there is a content creator that I have been watching for about eight months now by the name of Seethrough. Now, Seethrough over here has a little bit of a problem, actually quite a bit of a problem, I must say. And he needs some help. Now, I would like to take this opportunity. Actually, if I do a little bit like a show... Yes, a little bit of big screen. Now, uh, there's still a little bit of enshrouded music in the background, but yes, he is in quite a predicament. Now, he needs to get his teeth fixed, and that is going to cost him a uh, whopping 13,000 buckaroos. So, now, I have donated, uh, donated a little bit, not much because well i don't have much but i want to well i do get a little bit of yours so hopefully if you would put a smile on his face you would uh, give me a smile on my face i'm gonna leave the link to the gun phone uh, found me right right down below uh but yes teeth are weird now i live in a country with free health care but, of course, teeth are not included in that scenario. No, those are luxury bones. I mean, yeah, what are you even thinking? Of course, that is not... Uh, uh, that is not covered. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's get back to business. Yes, luxury bones that you hardly ever use, right? <laughs> uh, now, I too have a little bit of pain in the teeth, just from time to time. And I dread going to the dentist because of the potential bill. Now, I'm going to be honest, in my country it is cheaper if you are, you know, underage, uh, like a child. And when you're really young, it is free. So that is definitely something. But yeah, if you were to get something like dent and dentures and, uh, like, even braces... Braces? Braces? Yeah. That's gonna cost you quite a bit of moolah. To say the least, uh, which I think is horrendous because yeah, I mean, uh, a broken leg is bad, very bad, and I would say that it is worse than a broken tooth. But teeth are well, I would say it's like the main confidence uh, factor that you can get if you are going bald or if you have pimples and stuff like that. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as having. Uh, pardon my French, or pardon my language, I'm not gonna rip on the French too much. Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Roynin, merci beaucoup. What was I, I was making a point, I forgot already, but uh, yes, teeth are a bitch to take care of. Now, I also have a broken tooth, you might have noticed a little bit when I go to the side, one of my uh, teeth... Well, one tooth is crooked. I injured, well, I broke it during a skateboarding accident. Which is kind of funny because, uh, well, people who know me wouldn't think that I was a skater. But I was. A little bit, at least. <laughs> uh, I was going down the halfpipe, running up to the other side. I slipped and just face-planted right on the metal uh, edge, metal railing. And I broke my tooth. Now, it wasn't too painful, it wasn't. I went home, I was very young, approximately maybe 10 years old, maybe even younger. Uh, so, yeah, when I showed my mother what had happened, she freaked out, and we went back to the skating park, got my tooth, and just, yeah, glued that sucker back in. So I still have my original tooth glued. <laughs> uh, glue there, no. At some point, it is going to fall out, because normally this procedure wouldn't last more than 10 years, and let's just say it's quite a bit more than uh, 10 years now. So, any second I could lose this thing. And as much as I... I mean, I'm very confident when it comes to my looks, a little bit too confident. Some would probably say even delusional. Yes, but I have described myself as quite of a narcissist, in a way that I do enjoy looking at myself in the mirror. My wife can 
can can can confirm. Yes, I'm just gonna look at my wife, and yes, she confirms very much so. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Hopefully, if you are able to, only if you are able to, of course, give good old see-through Timmy Tim Tim a little bit of support. If you can, of course, uh, money is tight for a lot of people and just businesses going out of businesses everywhere. Uh, having friends that are losing their jobs and oh, it's uh, it's not a good time right now. Not too much of a time. I mean, I'm living a very comfortable life. I'm surviving comfortably, but yeah, I wish that I was thriving and that I had the opportunity just like, oh, one, one, this guy needs new teeth. Like, ka -chow. There you go, mate. Like in the same position that I was with the cat. Now see-through also did donate uh, in order to save my cat. So yeah, that's that's something. Now I probably would have uh, said something in this video regardless of whether he donated or not. Because, well, yeah, teeth, uh, teeth are a bitch. Now he fully admits that it is his own fault for doing so. You know, a little bit of neglection, uh, some smoking, consuming too much soda. But again... We, as humans, now consume a ton of sugar. It is outrageous. I mean, there's sugar in absolutely everything. Even in, like, baby food. Loads of sugar for whatever reason. So, yeah, my, my children are most likely going to get their, uh, quite a bit addicted. Even if you want to make the food yourself. I mean, there's so much sugar in just the basic product. What was that? I heard something. Something is clicking over there. Maybe that's sure. Maybe that's my daughter. I mean, me and the wife are just playing. Oh, she's playing a little bit of Rock Riders, the uh, old Lego game. Yes. Uh, come on, then. Come on. Now, hang on. I also vaguely remember. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, a question from Kensu. Uh, you're going to build some pens for the animals, mate, in the coming update? I have built a big pen for the goats and a kennel for the dogs, lol. Huh. I mean, I could. I mean, I probably should build something for them. And I think they also confirmed cats. Now, I do love dogs. I do. I'm more of a cat person, mainly because they're, you know, a lot less maintenance. Uh, but yeah, dogs are fantastic creatures as well, that they are. And they're not, you know, evil as cats are. <laughs> uh, yeah, my uh, opened up the door not too long ago and found another poor animal. Yes. I think it was a mouse, then again, not easy to say, sadly. Okay, come on, come on, there we go. Mm, yes, because it's with your... Mm, mm, yeah. yeah, I should probably prepare a little bit for the update. But again, I think that I'm just gonna... I mean, I'm, I'm at least gonna expand the buildable areas that I have. I'm probably gonna do something with this mountainside. I mean, this looks great, but I need to do something with this, because it can't just be floating over here, so I'm probably... Uh... I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix this. Make a little bit of a sharp. Hmm? Oh, okay, well, we'll ha we'll handle that at a later time. But yeah, I do need to prepare. <coughs> oh, come on. Now, when it comes to me telling stories of old, like the skating accident, I did initially want to use some tr 3D animations because I did practice a lot of 3D modeling some time ago. But yeah. J j Time got in the way, <laughs> so I haven't been able to do much over there. And also, in that, like animations, is incredibly time-consuming. Even if you were just doing stick figures and such, uh, yeah, that would that would take a while. Now there's probably an AI tool out there. I mean, I'm fairly certain that I've seen quite a few in use that are well, they they look kind of horrible, but uh, you know, with a little bit of editing, it could probably be something. Now, how is this gonna look? I mean, it, um, I do like the look of it, but I think that, yeah, I mean, it is a path block, so it should be used for paths, right? And there should probably some be some foliage or something around, maybe some stone, but uh, we'll see. Well, I think that I'm just gonna continue doing my business, uh, making buildable areas and then experimenting a little bit with builds because there's so many uh, building blocks that I have yet to use. I mean, I have I think that I've looked at all of them. I mean, I made a palette oh, ages ago trying to decide, decide what kind of palette I wanted for the builds and such, but uh, I mean, I went for 
I think it's... Oh, I've already forgotten the name of the <laughs> blocks. Yeah, it's been some time since I've been building. But yeah, there's uh, probably gonna be new building blocks. I mean, we already have quite a few uh, from the Blackmire and the uh, Hollow Halls and such. Yeah, there's, uh, hmm, hmm. there's a lot of stuff that I can do. But right now, we're just making dirt. Yes. Now, there's probably a quicker way to do this, too. But, you know, I mean, there's probably going to end up being world, like, world edit tools eventually. Someone is gonna figure that out. It's not gonna be as easy as it was in Minecraft, I think, because Minecraft was, well, basically open source. Uh, almost everything in JavaScript back in, back in the day. Even I made a couple of mods back then. Uh, but, yes. I mean, I could probably... I have been contemplating of creating a few mods for this game. I mean, it's not too difficult, since I do have the programming knowledge, and also there's the internet, which is a great tool to create stuff. But yeah, I do enjoy just having uh, the vanilla experience to some degree. I mean, I've changed the uh, difficulty set uh, setting quite a bit. So I have more stamina and more mana for traversal, and there's also a lot more enemies around because it's more fun to fight more enemies than just a few. Now, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to reset to default settings when it comes to uh, the mountain update, probably. Because I could, like, if I keep these settings that I have now, I don't have to worry about stamina or mana, but I think that I kind of want to, you know, use the HUD. Oh, I don't have any food. <laughs> Uh, let's see, eat a little bit of that, eat a little bit of that, and some more, uh, even more stamina. <laughs> That's a lot of stamina. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do, like, if it is a higher level area, what am I looking at over there? Oh, that's probably just a three a tree. Yeah, like the thing right over my head. Yeah, that's a tree. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, like, I could potentially uh, go through the entire mountain update without the HUD, but yeah, I do think that there's gonna be higher level enemies up there, so I do probably want to enable the HUD, a little bit at least. Maybe when I'm exploring the entire area, I will most likely turn off the HUD. Okay, well, we're making progress. Now I'm doing a lot of rambling in this video, but yeah, hopefully it's a good enough cause to help someone smile again. Yes. Okay, no, 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 ineffective, come on then. Oh, hang on a minute, is it going to be difficult for me to play something down here? Nah, probably not. Let's see, yeah, I'm thinking, hmm, I mean, I could, potentially. Yeah, okay, I mean, I can definitely just make a staircase all the way up here. I mean, it's uh, very steep, but it, it works. It works wonders. Now, I'm cutting out a lot of potential build area, then again, I mean, I did have a plan to just hollow out the entire mountain. So, uh, we will see, we will see. Right now, dirt. More dirt, yes. Is it turning night already? Oh, huh. now hang on, what is going on with the smoke? Looks like it's going like that. No, that's probably just a... Oh yeah, because a cloud went by. Ooh, this game. This game is... It is something. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I made a point at the end of the last video that the price of gaming is insane now. Uh, I think it's increased even further. Like, I'm not sure if that is just my country, but it uh, seems like it's everywhere, which is uh, it's something uh, yeah, something bad. Um, but yeah, that is also why I do love survival-type building games, because there's infinite possibilities. You can basically play them forever, and considering that, well, like a AAA game, which would be valued now at $80, offers maybe 20 20 hours to 40, maybe, sometimes, of uh, entertainment. Depends on the game, obviously. I've heard that Black Myth uh, Wukong offers up to 70 hours. And if you're bad at the game, maybe even more. So, yeah, I mean, that is that is definitely something. But, oh, I cannot rationalize spending that much on uh, a game. No. Especially since I don't have time to play. <laughs> I mean, right now I've been uh, rambling a little bit over 20 minutes-ish, something like that. Gonna cut out a lot of it, but yeah. Okay, now, yeah, I think this is gonna look great. A little bit of grass around, which looks, it looks okay since it's a little bit random here and there. Hmm, yeah, and this area, probably, maybe? Okay, let's see. Let's remove the HUD. Yeah, aesthetics. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, can I fly up here? Yes, I can. Now, I need to complete the wall around this thing. Probably just connect up this a little bit. 
I mean, shouldn't be worse than making some stairs, probably. And I do wonder, I mean, I... Oh, what is that? More helicopters? There's a few of them flying around. Let's see. I mean, this could also potentially be, like, just a tree, tree farm. Because I do enjoy having some extra resin around, so that could definitely be something. Hmm, alright. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do with this area. Now, I am gonna do some experiments uh, in the future to see if I do place a flame altar outside of this thing and then remove it and then log in and out and see how, how that goes. And again, if I... Hmm. Yeah, if I just place a lot of smaller... Let's see, I can't see the top border, can I? Actually, I wonder how far up even is it? Can I? No? No, I can't. From the outside, maybe? Let's see. Can I see the border up? No. I wonder how big it actually is. I mean, I could just build myself up. I think that I've... Uh, actually, I'm not sure how f far up you can build. Now, I think that this is the very bottom, right underneath here. Looks like it. Which means that, yeah, there's probably quite a bit uh, you can build upwards too. And considering this is just one flame altar, that is, um, yeah, that is something. Place a few of them on top of each other, and yeah, you can build some, uh, you can build some big stuff. Now, I've also been invited, well, I've been invited a, cop a couple of times now to, like, partake in building projects and such, and as much as I appreciate the offer, I just don't have the time, but yeah, it would be amazing. To actually join a community, like, I, I mean, I'm on the Enshrouded Discord and sometimes I answer questions over there, but again, there's the issue of time. Now, I would love to join, like, a full-packed server of builders and then just create something awesome. Like, you have the ability to now, I mean, right now, at the moment, we can have eight flame altars. Eight flame altars at the max level, you could build probably a statue that just envelops a, a, a ginormous ginormous, yeah, a gigantic amount of area. Yeah, that would be something, just a giant monster leaning over everything. Ooh, yeah, that would, that would be very scenic. Hmm. Yes, indeed, it would. And a little bit more rush by the mean. Now, the thing with me uh, is that I don't really have too much of a, uh, too much pace, patience, patience, yes, when it comes to building. I mean, I did also attempt to build, like, a underground uh, dwarven kingdom hmm but yeah that uh, it did not take long for me to <laughs> abandon this project basically just went down here and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah it's uh, it's, it's, it's going to take some time before i start doing anything here okay let's get back to business and at least finish up this little bit of area uh, let's see there we go oh i am hearing my daughter well, that's a proper, probably close to one and a half hour nap. Not bad. Not bad at all, I must say. Yep, yeah, you know, I can hear her. I'm just gonna give her a couple more minutes just to awaken, stretch a little bit, and then she will tell me when she's ready to wake up. Which means that we're nearing the end of the video. Ooh, boy, here it comes, here it comes. Now, again, remember, link in the description, description to a gun, go found, found, oh, jeez, I can't talk no more, uh, to a GoFundMe for Mr. See-Through, hopefully he can get his teeth fixed, which I think that he deserves. Oh, hang on, yeah, that's the daughter, I'm just gonna go and get her. Aha! Yes. Right, let's see if I can trick my daughter into drinking some water. Yes, water in the morning is fantastic. Yeah, she's already been fed uh, a little bit, so that is great. Now, I... hmm... Yeah, I will not be able to... will I? No, I don't think I will. Let's see, which button is it? This one? No, no, this one. Ah, oh, no, hang on a minute. If I hold that one and... <laughs> Oh, actually, I might be, if I hold this one, and then just slightly go forward. Uh, is it working? It, it is actually working. A little bit. Yeah, I don't need a mouse for the... Oh, alright. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, I do have to be a father now. I've already been a great husband. So, hang on, need to confirm with the wife. She didn't listen to me, so she has no idea why I'm looking at her. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, it's time for me to be a little bit of a father right now. Righto. Well, check out the GoFundMe if you have the opportunity. And also, 
if you haven't already. Oh, I am. She's struggling some water. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're getting real close to a thousand, and after a thousand, that means the monies. But it also sadly means ads. So, hmm. Not sure how that will work. Hopefully, I will have some control over that. No idea. Never been a YouTuber before. And I do not enjoy ads. But I will get into that when the time comes. If it comes, we will see. Yes. But anyhow, I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.